Hello Pisces, welcome. I'm Ivy Rivera, Psychic Medium, coming to you with your July horoscope for 2019. I want to invite you to join me for my Ask a Medium live show on Facebook and Instagram where I take your personal questions and I give your short scope for the week. That's going to be on the 16th at 9 p.m. Eastern at Ivy Angela Rivera. I also have my annual summer sale running right now. It does expire on the 4th of July, so if you want to take advantage of that, you're going to click the link below or go to IvyRiveraPsychicMedium.com. Pisces, what is going on with you for this month? I want to say that the, the month sort of starts on a very quiet note. On the first, I'm really seeing you be peaceful and calm and serene and introverted and introspective. And I feel that you're, you're centered and you have a sense of the storm coming a little bit. And I would say that that's fairly accurate not in the sense that it's negative, but there's a lot of energy coming in for you this month. Now, around the 5th, all of this starts to brew and get stirred up. Around the 5th, I feel that you're going to have some opportunities uh, that you can grasp at that will produce long-term prosperity for you, but you're really going to have to take the helm. You're really going to have to get in control and you're gonna have to work hard at it. So I see you being hesitant about that. Not that you're not willing to go after it, but are you willing to stay with it consistently? And if you cannot, or if you don't plan to, if your interest is not going to stay there, it would be best for you to not touch the situation at all. Whether we are talking about a potential love partnership or we're talking about a job position, it's really important that you are coming at the situation with integrity, honesty and morality okay so don't poke and prod at something and get hopes up if you're not going to be there with the right follow-through or it's a situation where you might have to um you know quit and stiff the employer or get fired or something like this okay so understand what you're capable of giving understand what you were hoping to be doing and where your goals are and if it is not in alignment with any of that then don't get engaged just because it fell into your lap. On the 11th, I'm hearing all that glitters is not gold. And I hear people coming to you making suggestions. I have different places, exotic lands, trips, vacations, adventures, a lot of temptation to maybe even go over to another living space or another relationship or to go spend some money where you shouldn't be. There seems to be a ton of temptation to, to go get something that you think you want because others have it or because you wanted it in the past. But right now where you seem to be is not exactly in a position to do that. And I think that you need to be really very realistic and um, understand that the grass is not always greener on the other side. I wanna say cultivate where you are and have an attitude of gratitude for what you currently um, are invested in or you could end up actually jeopardizing some of what you've built, okay? And then kind of wish you had it back. Um, I do sense around the 23rd, a bit of an eruption going on with a relationship. If you've been finding yourself just sort of treading water in a relationship or something isn't working, you may identify once and for all, this is not for me. I am, um, it's almost like a butterfly coming out of my cocoon and I'm no longer a caterpillar and this person stayed as a caterpillar. If you've outgrown some relationships, it's okay to not necessarily cut them off, but you may have to leave them behind or set proper boundaries. And I feel you being able to move up several more levels in your life, not just in your relationship zone, but in all areas. I like to say that people don't properly understand that relationships are at the base and core of our prosperity in all other areas of our life. And when some of them are out of whack and we get them in alignment, all of a sudden prosperity starts to flow. I'm also hearing around the 28th that there could be some type of a conclusion on uh, old, like, parental figures who have something to offer you or older 
um, like elders, grandparents who have something to offer you. They could be that you felt you weren't going to get something, whether this be in an estate, in a will, in a relationship with them, that maybe they weren't seeing you or you weren't a major factor um, in their process of handing out inheritance, whether this be love, this be attention, this be finances, this be real estate, whatever it is. I feel it working actually in your favor and that also coming to a conclusion. So you may find that you have something you're going to get, even if you don't get it on that day, it's coming for you or it's waiting for you. And that can really give you a great deal of peace and closure on that particular topic. For those of you who weren't necessarily hung up on it, great, then it's just an additional bonus. Okay, guys, I want to wish you luck for this month. Um, please be mindful and centered and come from a place of authenticity. Uh, I will see you again for August, but I hope to see you before that on the 16th of July, 9 p.m. Eastern. Ivy Angela Rivera for Ask a Medium on Facebook and Instagram. I'll be taking your questions. You guys take care.